Hi, my name is John Gay and I'm a lieutenant with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Tonight at about five or about nine after five, the Sheriff's Office was notified of a shooting at 5020 Cleveland Road, the uh, Vista Landing Apartments. Upon arriving at the scene, we located an adult male that was suffering from a non-life-threatening gunshot wound to the leg. He was transported to a local hospital for treatment. Um, a second adult male showed up at a local hospital with a gunshot wound to the arm and uh, we believe it's related to this incident and then a short time after that a third uh, adult male showed up with a gunshot wound to the abdomen uh, all these wounds are non-life threatening we're really not sure of what the motive or the circumstances are surrounding the shooting at this point in time but detectives are on scene and investigating we ask anybody that may have any information reference this incident to call either 630-0500 uh, or you can send us a message at jsocrimetips at jacksheriff.org or there's always Crime Stoppers where you can remain anonymous and that's 1-866-845-TIPS. We, they're all adult males. Um, I don't have the exact, they're, they're all adults, but I don't have the ranges of age. Uh, at this point in time, they're, they're all gunshot wound victims. I don't, I don't know the circumstances. Uh, we're just trying to, um, the detectives are talking to them, so at this point in time, I, I believe so, yes. Are these three separate, closely tied events, or one single event? It seems to be one event and just uh, three, three individuals, one that was actually transported from the scene by rescue and then two others that made their way to uh, the hospital by other means. And I'm not sure if you mentioned this, um, if, you, if so, could you repeat, what was the, um, where was the first victim shot? The first victim was shot in the leg, the second one was shot in the arm, and then the third in the abdomen. Um, we're canvassing the area for any witnesses that we can find. And again, as the information that I gave, anyone that does have information, please contact us and we'll assure someone comes and speaks with them. Do you believe there's a threat to the public at all? Um, no, at this point, I think these are the involved individuals in this particular incident, but I don't know the, the other circumstances. Do we believe that one of these three was the shooter? That's a, a pretty distinct possibility, yes.